All right, let's talk about sharpening and noise reduction in Lightroom. Sharpening is usually one of the last things I'm doing in the Lightroom editing process. To get to these settings, we want to head into the details panel. In here, we have three different sections. First, there's a preview image, which shows us a selected area of the image at 100% resolution. We can change that area by clicking on the crosshair icon and then selecting an area in the image. Let's pick a spot with nicely visible edges, just like at the top of the mountain. Then there is the sharpening section with different settings we can work on. And finally, there are the noise reduction settings, which help us to eliminate different kinds of noise in the image. So after picking a proper preview area, let's jump into the sharpening. We can change the amount, the radius, the details and the masking. But what are those sliders doing exactly? The amount is pretty self-explanatory. The slider regulates the amount of sharpening you're applying to the image. Lightroom sets the default value to 40. Setting it to zero will apply no sharpening at all while pushing it adds more sharpening and thus makes it more visible. It's important to know that pushing the amount will also increase the noise levels in your image. This can get ugly fast, especially in areas which don't really benefit from sharpening, like for example, clouds in the sky. For that reason, we also have the masking slider, but more on that in a minute. The radius slider defines the sharpening area size around an edge. Lightroom sets the default value to 1, which means sharpening will be applied for 1 pixel around edges. You can increase the radius up to 3, which in turn means the sharpening will be applied 3 pixels around edges. As a result, the edges now do get a very visible line around them, making it look like some kind of haloing is going on. We want to prevent this at all costs. In the opposite direction, we can bring down the radius to 0.5 so half of a pixel, so just a very fine line around the edges will be affected by the sharpening. 0.5 is my personal go-to setting for the radius. I have learned and seen it being used this way by a lot of other landscape photographers, but it's also a viable option to go with the default value. The detail slider is a bit more complex. What it does is to define which edges will be sharpened. Basically setting the details to zero only large edges will receive sharpening. By raising it to 100, even the smallest edges would get sharpened. Pushing the slider all the way up to the top will again result in heavy noise in areas which don't need sharpening. Nonetheless, if you have watched any of my previous editing videos, I always push the details to 100. The reason I can safely do that is the next slider. Masking helps us getting rid of all that ugly noise in areas which were not meant to be sharpened. By default, it's set to zero and it will basically deactivate the masking and thus the whole photo will get sharpening applied. While raising it will slowly mask out more and more of the image until almost nothing will get sharpened. The problem here is pushing the slider, we don't really know which areas are masked out, but there's a simple solution. While adjusting the masking slider, simply hold down the Alt key. Areas that will be sharpened are now highlighted white, while areas not affected by the sharpening will be black. This way, you can nicely target the important areas of the image. In general, for the sharpening of my images, I use pretty much the same settings every time. I will bring down the radius all the way, while pushing the details up to 100. Then I am applying as much masking as needed for the image. So in this case, let's just try to target those mountains. I can raise the masking quite a bit as you can see. Now we nicely have selected them. And once this is done, I can safely push the amount of sharpening without adding too much crazy noise. Perfect. But now let's move on to the noise reduction settings. To be honest, I rarely use noise reduction since I don't run into noise issues with my images that often. But the following things are still good to know if you ever run into such problems. First, you must keep in mind there are two types of noise. There's luminance noise and the color noise. The first one is monochromatic and looks a bit like rain. 
color noise on the other hand appears as multicolored pixels. For the sake of this video I will now turn down the masking so we will get all the noise back. In the preview window you can now clearly see the noise appearing in the sky. Here we are clearly working with luminance noise. This in turn means we have to work with the luminance noise reduction settings. If there would be color noise, we would be working with the color noise reduction sliders. Sometimes both types of noise are present. Then we just make use of all the sliders. Now let's bring up the luminance slider. As we push it, you can nicely see the noise disappearing from the sky. But we are also losing overall details. The goal is to keep a nice balance having details while not having too much noise present. I personally wouldn't recommend going higher than 50. Once you adjust the luminance, you see the detail and contrast slider become available for further adjustments. With details, we control how much detail will remain in the image. Keep in mind, as we boost the details, the less noise will be removed. This goes the other way around as well. We can bring down the details to further reduce the noise, but of course, at the cost of losing details. Continuing with the contrast slider. And this one is confusing me a bit, I have to say. To see a proper difference, click in the image to get a 100% view. Now, what this one is supposed to do is to control the luminance contrast. And apparently, increasing the contrast will also result in higher amounts of noise. But to be honest, while playing around with this one for a while, I couldn't make out any impactful difference. Probably just using the wrong image for this one. Now let's give the color noise reduction a try. Color noise is something that is often appearing in solid dark areas of an image, for example. And in my personal experience, often in combination with higher ISO or very long exposure times. Again, let's click in the image to get a close-up view. Once I turn down the color slider, you can clearly see the colored pixels we want to fix with the noise reduction. So let's bring up the color slider. As we push this all the way up, we are getting rid of the color noise, while the luminance noise still is clearly visible. Again, we can adjust the details levels. By increasing it, we will reintroduce some color noise, however. And finally, we have the smoothness slider left, which by increasing will help to reduce low frequency color modding artifacts. Alright, and that is it for this week's Lightroom Classic Masterclass. I hope this video about sharpening and noise reduction was interesting and you could learn something new. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. If you want to support this channel, feel free to subscribe and like the video. And hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.